What's up everybody? I wanna give you guys a little bit of a training uh, tool here and a little bit of coaching as well. This is John, brand new student. How long have you been doing archery? Today is day two. <laughs> day two. We're probably, I don't know, less than 50 shots, I bet, into him pulling a bow back for the first time yesterday. So uh, he's shooting a silverback and obviously I'm a big I'm a big advocate of tension-based releases, especially for anyone new. And now we're gonna start talking about the front pin, that movement, and also how that relates to shot activation and pulling through the shot. So this exercise that we're gonna work on now is gonna be trusting the float, which I think some of you who follow what we're talking about have heard this term before, trusting the float. So. This is a new target face that I've brought out for this purpose of learning the, fro the float of the front pin and the tension activation and continually pulling through that shot until you get the activation. So the purpose of this target is built so that it has a green outer ring that pretty much is like having the white lines of you know the road. And what I talked to John about was just like when you're driving down the road, there's times where your car is naturally floating left and right, and you're slowly moving that steering wheel back and forth, you know, and kind of seeing that movement going one way, making a slight correction and just letting it come back into the center, you make a connection. You're never just trying to freeze in one spot. So the purpose of this target is with your green pin, you've got a post coming up with your, your spot hog sight. So, I want you to just trust that float and anytime your green pin is getting close to the green lines, just you know, allow it to come back. And one of the things that we talked about already was just not focusing specifically on the pin itself, but focus on the target and look through your pin to the target and let that pin float around and if it's getting close to that green line, that's cool. Bring it back, but don't let off your gas. If you're driving a car and you're going down and you start to get close to the side, you're not like letting off the gas and hitting the brake. You're just keeping that and you're making the correction and letting it float through. So we're gonna work on trusting the float with this target and letting that pin move around and just continue to try to make your shot activation on the same type of timing as what we've been doing on a blank bale. So now you're gonna be aiming at a spot or at least looking at the spot, looking through your pin, trying to focus on that spot and allowing that green pin to float around. And if it gets close to those outer lines, then just naturally bring it back, but keep pulling through with a, a dynamic pull. So let's see how it does. All right, so the key here is gonna be shot timing, aiming at a target, an actual target for the first time. Just gonna trust that float. If the green pin is within the green lines, you're just gonna keep that elbow coming back. Good job with that. Everything looks great, good job. Excellent, dude. Heck yeah. Perfect, perfect. How was your float? So good. Awesome. And again, this is probably less than 50 shots with a bow ever. Uh, worked with the silverback. Good job. Perfect, dude. Yes. Good job. This time, just a little bit less gas pedal. Once you let off your clutch. Slow and smooth right back here. There you go. Good job, dude. All right, John's made a few shots on the target. He's doing good. Timing's getting better, but I wanna talk with all of you and talk with John about what I call Clutch and gas pedal. So with a tension-based release, regardless of whether it's a backstrap or a silverback, 
essentially your safety in my opinion is like a clutch right on a car so we always if we're at a stop we've got our clutch pedal pressed in we're going to slowly let off that clutch and then we're going to start applying gas by pulling back with a back strap this trigger is essentially the safety but it's built to be having well it's built to have the feel of a two-stage trigger on an ar so you're able to just squeeze that trigger all the way to take the safety off. So you don't have to squeeze the safety super slow, but you do want to get all the way through that safety before you start your pull. So I tell people it's a lot like teaching someone to drive a car for the first time. You know, the first time you teach someone how to drive, they come to that stop and, you know, they hit the brake a little too hard. Everyone in the car feels it and then the light turns green and if they you know let off the brake too fast and hit the gas too fast everyone in the car feels it so think of everyone in the car being your sight pin you want to be able to be at that stop and start your shot process or leave that stop sign without that front pin knowing that you've let off the clutch and gave it gas so for a back strap it would be like this. I'd be at full draw. I will take my clutch off and give it some gas as I pull through. Keep in mind, I wanna make sure that if you're giving it gas, don't give it so much gas that everyone in the car is you know, jerking back and feeling that acceleration. You want it to just be just like driving a stick shift. Let off the clutch, Start giving it gas, get up to speed, but get up to speed by keeping everything still and stable. So with the silverback, we're gonna have our safety on or clutch pressed. We're gonna be at full draw. We're on the target now. We're gonna let off our clutch, start giving it some gas. And we're gonna do that without causing that front pin to have a bunch of movement because we're accelerating too quick. Now, this target is something that you can easily do with the shot trainer. I use the top knot as my pin when I'm looking at that uh, at the target. If you're using obviously a bow sight, same thing. You're gonna have some movement, trust the movement, look through the pin to the target, allow that pin to have that slight movement but just keep giving it gas slow so that you get up to speed and activate that shot without causing the front sight to move. So one more time with the back strap, I'm on target, take the clutch off, start to accelerate and pull through. Anchor peep, let off the clutch. Slow on the gas. There you go, bro. That's it right there. That is it. Learning to drive. Be able to drive by yourself once you get this permit filled here. All right, bro. Give me one more good one. Good job, anchor. Pete, perfect. Let off the clutch, slow and smooth on the gas. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that is it right there.